Hello guys, I'm back in the Poland for some days and we are between these two eclipses, lunar and the solar, which will be at the 8th April and the sun is in Pisces. So now I prepared a very nice video with that theme of sun in Pisces. We know that sun in Pisces is a very horrible placement for the sun. So therefore, in this video, we'll go in detail through the relationship with the father. We'll be talking about his secrecy in his work about the Parivartana, complete change of situation when Paolo Gucci is putting his father reporting to the police and putting him into the jail. We will see how this is reflected in his chart. We will be talking about the Kapata Yoga, which is the being cheated or being the cheater. And also at the end, we'll be talking a little bit confirming that the Navamsha is right with the timing of the first and second marriage. So now let's start with these points. So if you have sun in the Pisces in your birth chart, in your natal chart, maybe you need to check the houses which are also related to sun, like for example, first house, which is about the health, fifth house about authority, or the ninth house about the father, father figures and things like that. So also today we would have the birthday of Paolo Gucci and uh, as uh, this is the same day, he also has the son in Pisces. And there was a big drama related to the father. There was also this movie recently, The House of Gucci, I think, when the whole story is uh, nicely depicted. If we look at his chart, he is the Sagittarius Lagna. So the son here will not only show the father from the nature of the planet point of view, but also son is the ninth lord. So for the man, father is the ninth lord for the woman we have to check the fifth lord for the fathers and we can see immediately that the sun is not only affected by the being in the pisces but also by the fact that it is with the rahu uh, which is the dire enemy of the sun and is also with the mercury debilitated so we have a big drama big problem related to the father to make this thing complete and holistic we cannot forget about the level of charakaraka and the father is is depicted by the Pitru Karaka. Then you need to find the planet in your chart, which is PIK. This will be the uh, planet which is depicting the father on the soul level. We call this level Chara Karaka. And the Pitru Karaka is not only showing father, because this is very broad thing, right? This will also show your dharmic or ethical system. So if that planet is afflicted or it's in Dushtana, then we have some incentive or impulse to check other things related to the ethics also or the uh, how the person behave what are the interaction with others and things like that but now we will go to very interesting point which is showing some form of reversal of the fortune the story goes that uh, first of all he tried to do some secret business hiding this from father and uncle and you can see that tent from the moon will be the eris eris is loaded by the Mars, 10th house from the moon. It's most important point for the career life. And Mars, which is the lord of 10th from the moon, is in the 8th house of the secrecy, especially also with the moon, right? So we can see that the person, career life, will have a very strong uh, feature of being secretive. There will be something not visible to the human eye. This could also involve, um, for example, borrowing money from someone, uh, so our family doesn't know about this or this can show that one is earning the income or getting the income from other sources which are only known for the person who is doing that. This can also, of course, show working for some kind of secret or detective related organization. So in all those type of job, uh, there will be very strong eight house indication related to points of career life. But what was going on in his life is that first he was fired, totally removed from the company. He couldn't do anything under the uh, sign of Gucci. He was totally uh, we could say rejected from the company. The people who were working there, they even were forbidden to contact him. It was to uh, such an extent. So he developed a very inimical relationship with the father. But then somehow with the help of the cousin, he could overpower the father and he reported the father to the police because of the tax evasion. And because of that, his father went to jail. So we could say that he put his father uh, to jail. And then he sold his shares and uh, he totally took the power of the company. And we can see that first, tent lord, there are two tent lords, right? Sagittarius Lagna, tent house is Virgo, Virgo has two lords, Mercury and Rahu. 
but luckily they are in one place in Pisces. And the Lord of Pisces, Ketu, is in the sign of Virgo. So when the planet A is in the sign of B and planet B is in the sign of A, we are talking about the super famous, popular and super complicated and advanced formation which is called Parivartana. And this is show exchange. This is like a reversal of fortune. First there is some state of thing and after the Dasha or natural age of these plans are coming, there is the reversal. The things are changing to completely different situation. So we can see that 10th Lord in the fourth house, right? There is a Kapata Yoga. Person probably felt very bad. It's like disappointment, disheartened. These feelings of the fourth house are going very deep because this is the midnight house. Of course, there is the Saturn on the Lagna. So this Kapata is changing. It's not only that I am cheated, but I will also cheat in the revenge. And this is when the Malefic is also in the first house, unfortunately for the karma or spiritual life of this person. So by this you can see that the first phase of the whole process is 10th Lord in the fourth house, which is showing that uh, it's like leaving, right? When the planet is in the seventh from the house, it means that the person is leaving that house. And if these are malefics, this may be person is rejected from these resources, right? And here it was exactly that. He was rejected by this situation, but because of this Parivartana, because of this Ketu going back to the tenant house, he is totally changing the situation. He is getting the power because of this Ketu going back to the tenant house. It's like one situation and then we are going back or there is this reversal. And now someone can say, oh, it's uh, so general. There are many yogas in the chart. You could ascribe such situation to other planets, right? It's uh, like uh, creating some super narrative. Uh, we can create any narrative. It's just like illustration. It is not uh, recognizing the facts. It's just some kind of meta narration to or, or bringing the meaning, right? The meaning could be any type of meaning, whatever fits you. But the counter argument are the Dasha. If this process is related to this Parivartana, also the planets which are working at that time will be related to that yoga. And you can guess the Antar Dasha in the normal Vimshotri, because this was involving the whole family, a bunch of people, this was very popular event. It was Ketu and Mercury Antar Dashas. And in his Adana Dasha, in the second Dasha, so Dasha is the timing system, and if the Moon is in 8 or 12, we can use the Adana Dasha. There is this trigger, right, Moon Vim Shotri, and now what is his response, what he's doing? And the Dashas of this overpowering the father and putting the father in jail, it was a Moon Antar Dasha and Mars Antar Dasha. And we remember that the Moon was the Pitru Karaka in the 8th house, in the Marana Karaka Stana. So very bad situation related to the father. And what is interesting, in the Navamsha, in the Navamsha, we have this Moon and Mars in the 11th house of punishment and Mars is also 6th Lord. So 6th and 11th, according to Jaimini uh, author, are the uh, planets of punishment. So we can see that not only the he was punished, by the father very much, but also because of other drishti on this Navamsha, it's quite advanced. He's also the punisher, we could say. He's also punishing his own father. So it's very extreme situation. Therefore, I thought we can discuss this when the sun is in the Pisces, because this whole scenario, this whole story is very much showing that the both Ninth Lord and the sun are in the Pisces and the person had so extreme a relationship with the father. He reported him to the police and put him in jail. By the way, he was also in jail because of the child support problem. We can see that his Atmakaraka in the Navamsha is in the second house. When that happens, there is the risk of jail. And uh, this was all related to the uh, also his affair. And we can see that he was married. The second marriage it was in the Mercury. Mercury. In the Navamsha, we are timing the second marriage with the second Lord not the seventh. He was married. The first marriage was in the Venus Antardasha, so it's seventh lord. The second marriage was in Mercury, Mercury. And Mercury is with the second lord in the Navamsha. So the timing of the second marriage is the second lord. So the Navamsha is right. Tenth lord is the son. Uh, so the money from father from tent to Lagna is fourth. So it was properties. It was also things related to uh, clothes and things like that all 
also very much related to the fourth house. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for today. I hope you find this interesting and informative. If you do, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Join our Discord community for one-on-one -on -one consultation. Please uh, hit me up with this email here. And if you are still hungry for Vedic astrology videos, then please consider watching this one.